My legs are all seizing up now. I knew that would happen if I went for that run in the park this evening. Ruddy woman should never listen to her in the first place. You're just not used to the exercise. I mean, that did my confidence a lot of good, didn't it? I don't actually see Nora Batty going all girlish. I could see all ghoulish. <laughs> she does a great ghoulish. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're all the same when the camera's pointing. And don't forget, that one's got a lot of Joan Crawford for dinner. Oh, aren't they sweet? There's nobody there. The cots. <laughs> yes, they're very nice. So though I just couldn't resist them. What are they for? Well, babies, of course. Whose babies? Judy and Sandy's babies. I didn't even know they were pregnant. Well, they're not, as far as I know, but they will be. It stands to reason. Let's turn it up. I started dropping after my hip operation, hence the name. I just love it. I keep on the go all the time. That's our job, to make sure that we move well. We have fun, we can dance, we can laugh. They're comfy, are we? The word is comfortable, you simpering Nelly. Oh, you <laughs> do make a mess around you. What's this role doing here? Oh, why don't you ask it? <laughs> or don't you speak role? Oh, did you enjoy having your niece here yesterday? She tried to strangle me. Oh, yes. <laughs> Such a nice woman. What? Is everything all right downstairs? What? Look, there's no need to be embarrassed. I mean, you're knocking on a bit, aren't you? Some of your pipes are bound to be clanking. Vera, my plumbing is perfect. Because, listen, if you need to go to the doctors, I'll come with you. All right. They can do all sorts now, you know. Hey, we could try that by our dress. Uh, Two groups of people from opposite ends of modern Britain This week I've had a family bit are about to bridge the generation gap. I didn't expect to get so close to people doing this. It would have annoyed me. But, well, it was a long time ago, so why don't we just let bygones be bygones, eh? Very selfish woman, my mother. Just lay around in bed all day, coughing. Yeah. Instead of bringing up me, she was always bringing up phlegm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I lost touch with her when she was evicted. <laughs> You're really scared, aren't you? I am not scared. You were saying? All right. I miss it. School was not the best time for me. OK, can we go now, please? I am a party game addict, I'm afraid, and that causes awful consternation. I mean, when, when the children were young, Richard Bryce and his family used to come round and, and he and John used to go into the kitchen and get steadily more and more sloshed and more and more angry with me. And I would go into the kitchen and say, come on! Come on, join in. You're spoiling it for everybody. <laughs> Just a bride and groom, please. <laughs> Do you come through? Hello, Dot. Are you all right? Um, Good morning. I'm Dr. Moore. How are you? This is Dr. Moore. She's your consultant doctor. Do you speak any English?